Hi everybody, um, this is going to be a really quick video, really this time. Um, there's tornadoes on the ground, different parts of the nation. Um, in particular, there's some in in Ohio, uh, around where some of my family is located. Just, I just got a report from someone through the phone that it had destroyed the Myers Distribution Center in Springfield, Ohio. This is June 8th, 2022. So, like, literally, it's on the ground and really moving. There's people in Bible study and other things that didn't really have a clue that it was happening. They weren't really aware that there was a tornado out there. So, some other folks called and interrupted people that were in church to let them know there was a tornado. Get yourselves into a basement or a safe space. Um, so hopefully people are moving there to the safe space now. And hopefully other people are even prepared for the situation that's going on. I know I'm always saying prepare, prepare, but I'm saying it for a reason and not just to not just to be talking. Um, we know that over the past couple of years with the pandemic, we had to wear masks. Some people disliked the mask more than other people, but it was about safety and, you know, creating safety for yourself and for others, depending on what your situation is. With inclement weather, we've experienced this pretty much our whole lives, let's face it. In one way or another, everywhere around the world, we have our own particular type <clears throat> excuse me, of inclement weather that has happened. Whether it be monsoons, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, uh, fires, um, a variety of things have happened. And we've always had some sort of situation to really need to be prepared for. But sometimes we get so caught up in the freedom of being able to some people take their masks off or whatever now, that people are forgetting that there's still a lot going on out there. There's still people getting sick. There's people that I know that are still getting sick, honestly. Um, regardless of whether people believe it or not, yes, I know people that are getting sick and um, some are doing better than others right now. Uh, and I've already been down that lane and if you um, aren't aware of that, then there's a video regarding my, several videos regarding my experience with the Rona years ago in 2020, fall of 2020. So I won't go over that again right now. But regarding today and the tornadoes that are running through Ohio right now, they even haven't even said F1, F2, or whatever. They haven't said what number count it is or the extent of the damage that it is doing. All we know is that it did destroy the Myers um, Distribution Center in Springfield, Ohio, a few minutes ago. But be prepared in whatever situation. You know, have stuff together where if you got to grab it and run, be ready to grab it and run. If you just got a shelter in place, know where you are going to shelter in place. Don't stand by the window waiting to see a funnel cloud heading your direction. If you hear the sirens or if it starts to get dark or a, a weather report comes across on the television, radio, through your cell phone or computer or whatever, have a plan in place. And hopefully, and if it's a tornado, hopefully you have a place where you can be where there are walls, like an interior wall area where there are no windows, areas where glass can be broken and things can fly towards you and possibly hurt you or, or those that you love. You don't want to be in the zone for getting hit by any flying objects. You may want to have a radio. This is my emergency radio. I've got television, I've got other types of radios and things, but this one I really like because it's a hand crank radio, doesn't need any batteries, 
and it does AM, FM, and it does the weather. So I like that because it does have the weather on there. So if things start looking really weird, I'm going to my safe space, and I'm going to make sure that I have my weather radio. Number two that I want to be sure that I have is a flashlight of some kind. I got a variety of flashlights. I'm not going through all that right now. Try to have some sort of a light source for yourself. And a flashlight of one kind or another is good to have. And it's good to check it out monthly to make sure that it still works. You want to be sure that it still has working batteries. Unless, of course, you're using a hand crank flashlight, which I do have one of those too. But that's more like put away in the bug out bag. Number three. Have some kind of, if you're able to, have some kind of emergency power back up. Because if all your power goes off and, and suppose you're someone that sleeps with a CPAP or whatever medical equipment, CPAP, BiPAP, you need a nebulizer or whatever, you may still find yourself needing that help until the power comes back on. So that's why I have a couple of these little babies um, to support me during those times. So I keep one in my um, emergency shelter space for inclement weather and then the other one I keep um, closer to the bug out bag um, in another area. So those are just three very easy things that you can have and then to remember to have a place to be when these situations come up. Hope you're all doing well. Please stay safe. Be prepared, seriously. Try to have some things prepared. Don't wait till the stuff hits the fan before you decide that maybe you should start preparing. The time to prepare is now. Have a good evening, and I'll talk to you again soon.